So this here is a ThinkPad R31 that I just got yesterday in the mail. And um, it was working good for about four hours. It's in really good shape. The keyboard's barely used. It does have some rubbing on it, but it's fine. There's a little scuff right there that I can probably get out. Um, so yeah, so I installed Windows XP on it. It has an SSD and I will show you that too, but um, here's the problem. Let's turn it on. Actually, let me take a cut and we'll come back. So I'm on the tripod and I'm going to turn the computer on from here. If I can reach it. And you can already hear the problem. We're getting three beeps continuously. I checked the beep codes for this computer. And um, system board went out on me. And it will not stop beeping. It will post and it will boot into Windows. But the beeping won't stop. So... And I also need a CMOS battery because every time I have it unplugged, it goes right back into setup so I can do date and time. So, um, yeah, this is pretty bad, but I do have a system board on order now, so I should be able to get it going again. So let's cut again, and I'll show you the SSD. Okay, so as promised, this is the SSD, and it's IDE. I don't know if you can see the pins in this light, but it's a cheap, plasticky thing. But there's a reason I got this, because I think this is pretty cool. It beats Compact Flash by a mile, and I'll show you why. i got to take it apart, so... There are six screws all around it. I'm not very good at pointing things, but I'll take it apart and we'll come back and I'll show you the uh, magic inside. Okay, so I have this guy de-screwed and now here is the rabbit inside the hat. That right there is an M SATA SSD and it is 64 gigs and it didn't cost a heck of a lot. The enclosure cost 11 bucks. I was going to get a 32 gig drive because they were $20 and I figured, well, what the heck, I'll look at a 64. It's probably twice as much. New, no, the 64 gig was only a dollar more so I picked it up now this is a Chinese thing um, I'll have a link to the in the description to it in Amazon but it got it's got four and a half stars from the community over there and I uh, put it in here and I tested it out with my uh, IDE to USB 3 connector and tried to put it on my Macintosh. My Macintosh wouldn't see it, but that's probably not the Mac's fault. It's probably the firmware on here. Um, I took it up to my Windows PC and I plugged it in and Windows saw it in the uh, storage manager, so I formatted it as NTFS. I brought it back down here, I hooked it up to the Mac. The Mac saw it as a blank NTFS drive. I put it into the ThinkPad, the ThinkPad saw it, and um, I went ahead and installed Windows on it. And like I said, the ThinkPad was working for about four hours, and then it quit. So I don't attribute it to this. This works fine. What's great is that, um, I don't know if you can see that very close, um, what's great is that the pins are already set up on this. The middle pin is taken out, so it's only got 43 of the 44 pins. Or, yeah, it's 44 pins for uh, laptop hard drives. Um, 
so it's only got 43 of the 44 pins and that's fine so if you have a blocked connector this will fit in that the thinkpad has uh, a connector that takes all 44 so that's cool um, but yes this works really good and it's safer to me than a compact flash card because um, compact flash have trouble with uh, leveling or trim or whatever you want to call it the more you write to it the worse it gets so uh, if you're using XP you can get a trim app and run it on this it'll be fine so that is the story of the R31 uh, hope you like this video if you have any questions or anything you can just you know, shout me out in the comments please like and subscribe and as always thanks for watching talk to you later